we are still watching ways now we'll just go straight into what we found in the news um i think who am i starting with let me start with timmy timmy what did you find for us in the news okay so <laughs> senegal has reported an outbreak of bird flu mm -hmm. um so what happened was that they, they saw nearly 60,000 birds um, die over a couple of weeks, and that kind of prompted a laboratory investigation. So they found the highly pathogenic um, bird flu, and they had to call an additional 40,000 birds. So I saw this, and it's kind of recalled to mind the bird flu pandemic of 2005. Do you ladies remember this? Yeah, you definitely. Know? Mm -hmm. I, it just came to my mind. and I, I don't know if it's the COVID thing, but I just have a lot of like panic and anxiety going on in my mind. And I'm like, look, Senegal is not too far from Nigeria. You mm -hmm. know, God help us. We don't need this. Um, we're in the midst of one pandemic and bird flu would mean that, you know, more people are at risk and then meat will become more expensive. Exactly. Amidst this skyrocketing inflation that we're seeing. And, you know, we just don't need that. So I, I saw the news and I'm thinking, dear Lord, 2021 is in your hands. It's too soon. You know, I really hope this is resolved sooner rather than later. <laughs> well, uh, so tell me, well, first of all, everybody will go back to fish. Right, because I remember that when that bed flu thing happened, you know, a lot of people just avoided chicken and eggs and all of that. People fish fish. became so expensive, uh, yeah, fish became gold, yeah. And that's what I'm coming to now. A lot of the fish, the fish we eat, they're all imported frozen fish, even the chicken as well, you know. So I'm just wondering, ah, it's gonna take a huge toll on us if you know, we don't want we don't want it. <laughs> It's as simple as that. We don't want it. But now be a good it will be a good time to invest in fish, just in case. Don't you think so? <laughs> You're such a farmer. Through and through. Extend me, madam. <laughs> just invest, you never can tell. <laughs> All right, you see. What did you find for us in the news? In the news, what actually resonated with me was FG will impose fresh lockdown if COVID cases continues to rise. Mm -hmm. Now we already have gone through a lot, basically, from 2020 when we experienced the last lockdown. We are yet to actually recover from that. And we do not need another lockdown. Mm -hmm. And another thing that actually struck me was that can Nigeria afford another lockdown? Because what we went through, we are yet to recover from it. Mm -hmm. That's my take on it. Mm -hmm. Stephanie? I, I think I was listening to, I think it was Jimmy Disu this morning when we were driving. I was listening to him and he was saying that um, the Lagos State governor actually went to visit the president and he yes. was hinting that he's suspicious that it, it might link to another lockdown because of mm. course Lagos is the um, Lagos is that state that has huge um, put, uh, what's the word now? Is it a but huge state? Huge epicenter. Yes, the epicenter. Epi it's only, yes. not only the epicenter, but economically, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. it has a lot at stake. Yeah, you know, so if, if they can, yeah, so if they can, mm -hmm. if they can agree with Lagos State government mm -hmm. to say, you know what, well, please let's just go on a three weeks lockdown. Mm -hmm. I think every other state will just fall in line. Another thing we need to also consider is this: that the lockdown, COVID, has come to stay, whether we like it or not. Uh, if we go on a mm -hmm. three weeks break, that doesn't mean that COVID won't be there when we come back mm. out of the lockdown. So I think it is time for us to actually know how to manage it. And we as individuals should hold ourselves responsible mm. and observe the protocols. Is that responsibility that people mm. don't just have? You know, of course, when you see a lot of people still going all over the place, you know, with, with no care in the world, you know, doing throwing parties, going to the beach. In fact, the ones that go to swim is the one that I can't even understand. Mm -hmm. Because swimming is it's, swimming on its own has its own complications. Flu, body fluid Ew. is already mixing, is already exchanging. All right, so let me st stick into the COVID um, conversation. Sorry. Yeah, um, Governors Forum. Let me read the headline. Governors seek local production of COVID <laughs> vaccine. That's um, the, the president of the Governors Forum, I mean, the chairman of the Nigerian Governors Forum, Fiamy, Kayode Fiamy, disclosed this in the State House correspondent on Friday after a meeting they, they held, he, he held with the president, you know, and he was saying that um, the state governors have called on the federal government to expedite actions towards ensuring local production of COVID-19 vaccines instead of completely relying on the ones that are brought into the country. <laughs> Tell me. Mm. Let me come to There that. are two ways we can all... <laughs> I, I will look at it from the, from the chemical point of view. My Igbo brothers will do something about it without any problem. This is the one time 
I'm not going to say we should buy Nigeria to save the Naira. I'm not sure what. <laughs> you know, it's so interesting. You know, he, he yes. was saying that, the, that we should seize the opportunity, right? Mm. You know, to just, as an outlook for 2021, let us, mm. you know. But I'm just looking at it, uh, Temi. Do you think, and Isi, do you think, you know, at this point where we are, mm. even the one that it took them nine months to create, <laughs> with all the research, all the funding, all the backing, I beg, where is our research institute? Where are the, mm. who, who is going to fund where it? Where are the professors? That we're and it's funny that research. you would say that, you know, but we actually have the capacity. Yes, you know, we do. Nobody's in doubt. There. But nobody's so making use of come them. from outside the country, you know, to come and learn how things are done at the Nigerian teaching hospitals. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we've seen a lot of our own um, intellectual, we've seen our doctors go out there and perform groundbreaking surgeries and all of that, you know, building on the foundation that they got from Nigeria, you know. So, so much capability but very little output it's 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 it's, it's not a good one honestly mm. yeah you were saying easy i've lost my oh, thoughts okay. <laughs> because you know i think it's just play for me i think it's not it's beyond just saying nice things exactly invest let us even see. you've not even invested in your educational sector most of these vaccines because that they are bringing for us right now the uh, Pfizer and all of i didn't know is, is it not universities like oxford university all the top universities in the world that that, they, that are heavily funding this research so where are the universities exactly. that they've invested in to exactly. say you know what our educational mm -hmm. sector is completely you know, I don't even know what to call it. Not so you want <laughs> did, did you know? And all that money that went into, you know, um, building temporary tents mm. for COVID, billions of naira. Imagine Gone if we down actually the drain. proper hospitals with proper research and development capabilities, mm -hmm. infectious diseases, you know. I mean, and some just, of them have been it, even it, shot down. It, it, haven't it leave yeah. a lot to be desired. Yeah. So, so, it, so see? for me, I think it's just beyond just making something sound really nice. You know, in Nigeria, we love a lot of lip service. Mm. We do a lot of it. So because of that, you know, we, we, we have one structure in this place. We've done this. We've done that. We should go down and do the work. We should be, we should <laughs> actually do the work. Me, when that I see them investing money those, their, their in our educational lips. sector, and I mm. see them investing heavy money money in mm. revamping the health sector then i know that they are ready for some of this and things. another thing is that the nigerian government is more on short-term benefits or gratitude you know, gra we're all, we're all gratification saying, we're all saying the same thing gratification <laughs> they don't want a situation whereby they um wait for a long term education is long term and what's the other thing health. you called health is also long term so it takes time for that to actually come to play hmm. So they want now, 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 now. We're well, not discussing all of these things today. <laughs> Governor, fire me. <laughs> well, he's trying in his state. Let's give it to him. I won't, mm -hmm. I won't take that away from him. But I'm just mm -hmm. saying that it's beyond just saying it, you know. It is also, let us see that hmm. money is being thrown to that sector. I hope so. All right, so. so we'll go on a very short break. When we return... Hmm, this today's conversation is going to be Tammy and the guests <laughs> because two of us will just sit down and be watching. <laughs> we'll see you after the break. <laughs>